cold froth gal through and through. Hot coffee, cold froth. Otherwise, I can't drink the coffee. I'm like the kind of person that needs to let the coffee cool for a significant amount of time before I want to drink it. So the cold froth just kind of speeds up the process, which is preferred. My coffee got cold anyways. I forgot about it. I was just working and then I forgot to drink it. And this seems to be a trend lately. It just kind of sits there. I like the first few sips and then the next time I remember to drink some of it, it's cold, which I'm not complaining about. But sometimes I feel like maybe I should just now throw it over ice. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Today is one of my favorite kind of days. I'm starting off strong with these goat cheesy yummy looking eggs. That's delicious. And these eggs, mm. I also do have my truffle hot sauce to add on top if I so feel like it. Before I get into the fun of today, this vlog is actually sponsored by Ritual. I've been working with them for a while. I take their vitamins every single day, especially now that I'm back. I've really been enjoying getting back and taking my vitamins because I did not bring them on my trip and my body was all out of whack when I got back. So I have the Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus, and then I also have their Symbiotic Plus, which is a prebiotic, probiotic, and a postbiotic. The Symbiotic Plus is a three-in-one to help support the gut biome. Lots of people these days talking about gut health and how important it is for the entire system of your body. So I've been really trying to prioritize that. I just take one every single day. And my favorite part, which I've talked about so many times, is the way these taste. I've never had a vitamin that tastes and smells the way these do or anything even close. These are minty fresh. So when you take the vitamin, I always feel like literally fresh on the inside and I feel like my breath is good. They taste good. They, they're like a little treat in the morning and they're obviously good for you and your body. The capsules are actually see-through, transparent, which I love. The company itself is a very transparent company. You can find out pretty much anything about everything, but this is what they look like. It's actually a delayed release capsule. You can see the other capsule in there, designed to reach the colon instead of the stomach. Basically just an ideal place for this stuff to thrive. Just like their other products, they are vegan, they are clean, formulated without GMOs. As I am working with them, they did give me code to give to you guys in case you wanna try either of these products. You can go to ritual.com slash Tara M 20 and use the code Tara M 20 for 20% off your first month of ritual. Definitely recommend. Mm. I realized I hadn't even taken a bite yet. It's delicious. The link is down below. If you want to check it out for easy access, my mom's going to be here in 10 minutes and we're having a nice little day. I'm really looking forward to it. We've been wanting to do this day for months and the day is finally here. I'm ready. I have to buy all new stuff. I don't like anything in my closet. Nothing. I feel like it's all boring and nothing wants to go together and I don't like any of it. And I'm having this problem every freaking time when I get dressed because I don't know what to wear. I'm gonna wear this and some jeans. Maybe these. This will do. Hello. Hello! Today we are doing a day in New York. Sounds much better than saying we're doing a day in Buffalo. But we are going to the US of A to do some of our favorite shopping. We're going to, well, Target, Target. Target, TJ. TJ's, gotta get our Trader Joe's. I have a list I've prepared in advance so that I go in with a bit of an idea of like what needs to be purchased and brought back home.
unexpected cheddar. It is so good, you're gonna love it. Try. Spicy lentil wraps. You want two? I'm gonna. What's the date on that one? This is here at this will work. The more the merrier. A little light over here for my mother. It did the job right, I think. Big success. Trader Joe's, success. Yeah. Got almost all of the things. There's only a couple of things I was missing. I will do the full haul when we are home, but now we are off to Target. Very excited to see what I can spend my money on. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. This is very good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to hide them from your father. <laughs> he would eat all this. He would eat it. Mm. There's a Nordstrom rack here. Should we go? Mm -hmm. It's perfect. But it matches kind of the countertop too much, like the sink. You are right. It might blend a little too much. But I think it would work great for mine. Ooh, that is heavy as shit. This is my favorite section. This is my favorite place. This is my happy place. Look at this pretty candle. I'm gonna buy you. What do you smell like? <laughs> I so wish. I could bring some of this home. Like, this is so nice. Doing well here. My list is getting checked off quickly. This is a nice bowl. May as well. What did you find? <gasps> no way. Okay, well, yeah. I can't believe they have microwavable now. That's really sweet. These are better than the high shoes, by the way. They're the tippy ones. Okay. Also, I got you this because I feel like you would like it, but I don't know. French vanilla almond granola. Oh, yes. Thank Seems you. up your alley. I got myself one. And I got you the Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh, thank you. I'd like to say I did another fantastic job here. There's a lot of stuff. It's all really good. Mama got me a pink drink. So good. And I'm waiting with the cards. What did you get? Nice. We are officially back in Canada with all the goods. I'm so excited. We got a lot of good stuff today. More than I anticipated. It's a big win. It's a win-win. Big wins, win-wins all around. These are all mine? Yeah. yeah. It's full of my ramens. We're strong ladies. Do you want me to help you take it up the stairs? No, or okay. Oh, we have to try some of the cones. My legs feel like wiggly from sitting in the car. I know. You're feeling alright? Yeah, I'm good. Is that the rest of it? That's it. There you go, my love. Oh, my love. Lovely day. Yeah, I love you. Love you. It's now 6.30. We left at 10 and we have come back with a very large haul, very large. It was most definitely a very successful day. I got a lot of good stuff. I'm really, really excited about everything. So much yummy food, such great decor. Like Target just really hit today. Obviously haven't been in a while, so it felt really good. We're gonna start with Trader Joe's because I just unloaded all of the frozen refrigerated stuff. So we're gonna go through that, put it in the fridge, and then we will move on to the non-frozen stuff and then Target. Look at this, the cheesecake cones. Had to get these. Got two boxes because I anticipate I'm going to really enjoy them. I will have to try one tonight. I also got their mini hold the cone ice cream cones. Got the chocolate chip and then just the classic vanilla. I'm not like a full big ice cream kind of gal, except for me sometimes. But I feel like sometimes I'm just craving a little bit, so this is perfect. Got some of the raviolis. I got the sweet corn burrata and basil ravioli. I think I got this last time. I don't remember if I loved it. It sounds really good, so I got it again. And we got the cashew. Pepe, 
ravioli. Also got this Greek style chicken with orzo pasta. I love a ready cooked chicken, you guys know. I struggle to cook it myself, you know. So this was there, it looks really good, has olives. I also got this orzo, which is Mediterranean style orzo pasta salad. I love a pasta salad. And then for breakfast, I actually got their overnight oats. I've never tried these before. I got the vanilla overnight oats and then also the almond butter chia overnight oats. So like they're gonna be really good. I got four, they should be okay in the fridge. Just figured I would get something to switch it up from my daily eggs. And then I got these little frozen cubes of ginger and garlic. They used to have these here in Canada, but then my mom said that they don't have them anymore. So really convenient for cooking. I got two packs of the unexpected cheddar. I love this cheese seriously so much. It's cheddar cheese, but it kind of tastes like Parmesan, like little hints. This one's good till the end of July, and then this one's good till the end of August. So I make sure to check dates when I stock up like this, make sure that I can actually eat it all. I got two dressings. I actually think I have another one, but these were like from the cold section. Got the green goddess dressing because I've seen people talk about this forever. And then I got the spicy cashew butter dressing. I feel like I'm gonna love this. It looks creamy and I like creamy things. Speaking of, I got some dips. I got, I was looking for the cauliflower jalapeno dip, but they didn't have it. Sad. I don't know if it's just like not being sold right now or what, but I did get the creamy cauliflower mash. I am intrigued. I'm not sure if this is a dip or what, but it sounded good. Got the three layer hummus. I'm a big fan of this, love it. Traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy hummus in here. I love hummus. And then I got the green goddess dip. I've never tried this, but I like me my dips. And of course I had to get some of my frozen bag stuff. I got their seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. Never tried these, but I love Brussels sprouts and I meant to get them at the grocery store slash from Instacart, but I forgot. So I saw these and I was like, well, perfect. I only got one bag of cauliflower gnocchi, mostly because I still have four bags in my freezer, but I was running low on my sweet potato gnocchi. So I got five, I think, five bags of this. This is my favorite. Like if I'm gonna be honest, obviously with the cauliflower gnocchi, you can put whatever sauce you want on there and you know, make it so many different ways, but I love the flavor of this. It is so good when I add kale to it and sometimes some cherry tomatoes. It is incredible. Then I got the breaded fried ravioli. I've never seen this. I've never tried it. I am most definitely intrigued. And I feel like this would be really good in the, oh, in the air fryer. It actually has air fryer instructions on here. It says recommended. Well, I'm definitely gonna do that. Moving on. I got a lot, like a bunch of the spicy miso ramen. You know what, they are the best tiny little snack. You know, I crave ramen often, frequently. I love me some ramen. This is the perfect snack sized ramen. I love it. Two things of everything but the bagel seasoned crackery. I got uh, coconut aminos. These are new to me. Sparkling strawberry juice beverage, and then the sparkling watermelon juice. Jill always talks about these, so I got them. Two bags of this cold brew coffee bag. I wanna get back into making cold brew at home. Apparently you can use two of these bags. It comes with four to make like a full thing of cold brew. So I got two of these. Oh, I got my favorite wrap, the spicy lentil wrap. Oh, I'm such a fan. And then, okay, this is, I think this is new. This peanut butter caramel coated popcorn. I already know I'm gonna love this. I like anything with peanut butter. I know these are gonna be great. Okay, then it's a bunch of jars down here. What did I get? Toasted sesame oil, just another thing that I needed. Okay, spicy pickles. I feel like these are gonna slap. Maybe I should try one now. Wash down my sushi. They are spicy dill pickles. Oh, whoa. Okay, immediate review. They are spicy, for sure. There is heat, but they are like sweet pickles. And I usually like like sour pickles. These are a little too sweet for my liking, but then there's the spice. I would not buy again, but they're still good. Mm. Oh my God. They just came out with truffle aioli. You knew, you know I have to get this. So I got two, because they will last in the pantry. We'll open one now and have another one for when I finish this one. I got three more dressings. I want to be a salad girl. I really love salads. I just need the right dressings to Think of making that. Spicy peanut vinaigrette. Again, 
I like things with peanuts. Organic poppy seed dressing. I feel like this is gonna be really good. I really enjoy poppy seed dressing. And then last but not least, this is a new Trader Joe's product, the strawberry basil vinaigrette. I feel like that's nice for a summer salad with fruits and stuff. I feel like that'll be really good. Got a couple of pasta sauces. These are good in the pantry until you open them. So cacio e pepe sauce. I have tried this before. I can't remember if I really enjoyed it. I tried it before I had ever tried real cacio e pepe. So I don't know how it's gonna compare. I will let you guys know. But then I also got the Cajun style Alfredo sauce. Spicy and creamy Alfredo sauce bursting with Cajun style flavors. I feel like I would love this. So I got that. Okay, home stretch. I got the cold brew coffee concentrates. Pretty much the exact same thing as this, but this was already made and I don't have to wait for it. So that'll be for tomorrow. Since I was craving a cold coffee today anyways. I mean, it's summer. I feel like I, I don't really crave warm coffees, but I've been making them that way for some reason lately. I don't know. I got the balsamic glaze. I love this. This is so good. I got the hot honey. This is amazing. And last but not least, I got this Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. I would love to pronounce how this is actually said, but I know people are going to come for me if I say it wrong. So I'm not even going to attempt it. And that, I think, that is all the Trader Joe's. I got a lot of stuff. I feel really good though about everything. I'm so excited to try stuff. Excited to have my wrap. Like this is so good to me. My crackers, my dips, all these different dressings. Um, this aioli is gonna slap, I already know. Nice backup of my ramens. I feel really good about this. Now let me put all of this away and actually, I really do have to reorganize the pantry. Maybe I'll do that for a video, but for now I'm just gonna kind of toss them in just to get it away and kind of in a place. I really want to go through this and like organize it very nicely, but I don't feel like right now is the time for it. Maybe a tomorrow task. And now, Target. I got some snacks and just some food things. The Boom Chicka Pop poppable bags, awesome. I really like the kettle corn one. That is my personal fave. I got the vanilla granola. Then I got these wraps. This is my favorite wrap brand, but they don't have them here in Canada, so I got two bags of that. And then, very exciting purchase. Two packs of three forks. I got six forks. I feel like forks are the first thing to go. I'm always out of forks, so I got some more. Then, I got two of these. I'm not sure where the other one is. It's just like a little soap dispenser, but I think it looks Looks really pretty and my plan is I bought these labels on Amazon that should be arriving I think tomorrow that's a dish soap hand soap and I just want to have like them on my island it's a lot prettier than not that it matters obviously but I just I like the look of this I love my kitchen I feel like it is just beautiful and so I want to have everything in here kind of match the overall aesthetic of this beautiful kitchen. So I got two of these that are gonna have labels. Whoa, this is heavy. Got this beautiful marble tray. This was 25 bucks. It's a marble dish from Studio McGee. I kind of think this is gonna go on my coffee table. Just gonna add like a little neutral element to the coffee table I get. But I think it's beautiful. It's insane that this is 25 bucks. Like this anywhere else would be like $100. It's insane. That's why I love Target. You can get really, really nice pieces that aren't going to break the fucking bank. I also got other things. I got some decor things for the kitchen, mostly because I feel like I've just kind of left it bare and I feel like little accents could be very nice. And I got this really pretty candle. It's nice. While I cook dinner, I like to light a candle and like set the vibe. I really, really got into the mindset in the last few days of like, let me get this place looking as amazing as possible because it's what the place deserves. I got some sauce, two of my truffle hot sauces. These are the best. If you like truffle, you like hot sauce. These are everything and more, but they are like $36 here in Canada. Fucking insane. $14.99, I bought two. Chick-fil-A sauce. We do have Chick-fil-A here now. I've never been to the one here. And also, I just like the sauce. It can go on anything. I bought another plant, but look at how nice the little vase is here. And I feel like it's a summery looking plant. I have to play around with where I'm putting things. That's probably not gonna go there. It's probably gonna go on the island, but more things. I had a lot of fun today. <laughs> I got this really cute throw blanket. I wanted to get a new throw for my couch down here. I feel like I've just been throwing the ones that I've had, you know, since I moved here and not like actually something that I feel like looks good for the space. So I got this one. Let me throw it down. 
I also got another throw. Just like a nice neutral knit throw. This is gonna go in my bedroom. I am currently working on a little bedroom makeover, getting it done, getting it beautiful. So I got some things for my room. I uh, got a bunch of these little flowers. I literally just found them. I found them on a shelf. It seemed somebody decided they didn't want them and put them down. And I said, I will take them. So I got these and I'm gonna put them in a vase that I bought, but I, it's in one of the bags. Man, I really went hard today. I got a room spray. I got this one. I think it's cute and it smells really good like a hotel. I really like my place to smell good. And then I got a utensil holder. I was so hoping this was gonna match and it looks perfect. Currently all my utensils are in the top drawer and I will make some more space if I move them. Got a little wooden tray. Ran out of space because I've been talking too much, but wooden tray for just like little things, maybe in my bathroom, maybe in the kitchen. I haven't entirely decided, but I knew it was gonna get used. Got a Father's Day card for my dad. Oh, I got these two um, drinks. I got this London Fog Tea Latte Concentrate. I had a London Fog once that I mixed with matcha and it was so good. So I got this to attempt. I feel like it's gonna be good. The final bag. Here's the other little soap dispenser. So they're gonna be right next to each other on, I'm pretty sure this tray. Isn't that cute? Here is the little vase pot for those flowers. You see the vibe? So cute. That's gonna go either down here or on a nightstand. Got the Tazo Chai Concentrate, so good. I've gone through my phases of being obsessed. I think I'm going to get into another one. And last but not least, I got these coasters. They're just little black wooden coasters. Not much to explain there, pretty self-explanatory. And that's my haul. That was a big haul. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking forever. I'm so sorry. Now I gotta put all this away and find its spot, but I'm really excited about it. I feel, oh no, there's more. There was more. I got a bunch of pillows. I'm just gonna bring you to them. Okay, these guys are massive. They are going up to my bedroom. Love them. These were 30 bucks each, which is really solid considering how big they are. Also got this pillow. It's nice and long. Got this for my bed as well. And then for down here, I got this pillow and this pillow. I think they're gonna look really nice when I get rid of some of this other stuff that's kind of conflicting with it, but I really wanted to get pillows in here and feel like we succeeded. Obviously this is not at all decorated, like I have everything just the way I left it. This is gonna be really cute though, I'm, I'm happy. And that I think officially concludes the largest haul ever. I gotta spend some time putting some stuff away because there's a lot of stuff I'm looking at right here. So I'm 15 now, so I've been chopped for a while. I gotta do this and then I will make dinner eventually, but now I'm held over from the sushi, so. right now that I didn't even realize it was past nine o'clock and I hadn't had dinner. Granted, I was definitely like held over from all the sushi I ate, but I definitely wanted to have some dinner. And then I realized the time and I was like, okay, now seems like a good time to have this. Last night I made this chickpea curry stew with kale. It is so good. I was eating it last night and I was just like, I need to try new things more often. Delicious. I made enough for like multiple servings, so I am having that tonight. And it's different than my norm. That is something that I'm really trying to do is at least try something new every single week. Switch it up a bit more, try new things. So far, so good. Really enjoying it. Mmm, the flavors. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll definitely vlog next time I make this because it is 10, 10, but 9.20 p.m. I have lots more organizing to do for all the decor. Got a lot of stuff, so I gotta figure out where it all goes. What's going in the office, what's going in the bedroom, what's gonna go down in the living room, what's gonna go in the kitchen. Lots to figure out, but that's not tonight task. Tonight is food and then book in bed. Just as I put my stew spoon down, I remembered I was going to eat one of these cheesecake cones as dessert. I'm nervous to try this, what if it sucks? I don't think it could possibly suck, like it's a cheesecake cone, but it looks like sticky and caramelly. But I did get two boxes, so. Whoa. First impression, I felt like I was biting into ice cream. So maybe let them sit out for a second. Set two and a half minute timer. I think that'll do it. Okay, something happened with my timer. It appears to have failed me. Either way, let's give it another go. No 
change in the texture. Granted, it's only been a few minutes, but the flavor is really good, but it's giving more ice cream cone. I'm okay with it though. The cone itself is like toffee. It's good. I want to give you a rating and then I want to go to bed and read my book. It's between a seven and a half and an eight. And I can't, I think we're going to go for an eight. It doesn't give so much cheesecake flavor and the cone itself has a lot of flavor. So it takes away from the flavor of the filling, the review that nobody asked for. On that note, time for bed. Love you so much. See you on Friday.